on this women's day i want to talk to men particularly a special category of men who come from affluent families or families who may probably be going through financial challenges but they have a rule that the daughter in law of the family the wives of the family do not work it's high time that we start talking about the subject and by the end of this video you're going to understand why it is so important for me to talk about this and more importantly why is it so important for you your family your relationship for these rules to change even before i start let me give you a very quick disclaimer i have zero complaints or i have zero challenges or i have zero negative things to say about homemakers my mom herself is a homemaker and i have immense respect for homemakers i know this for a fact that i would have not been able to do their job but the fact is simple my mom became a homemaker in 1985 technology ecosystem business economy everything looked very different 40 years ago you don't know the brands that were popular in 1985 86 you are not living a life which is anywhere close to 1985 why are we still living in rules which were actually created in 1685 for all i know we are, we are living in 2024 we are enjoying the perks of 2024 we are enjoying the life of 2024 why not actually do what is needed for this economy for this country and more importantly for the women of your family in 2024 the financial support that i know this for a fact you probably come from a family where you don't need that financial support even if your wife goes and works or even if your bhabhi or your women in your family go and work you don't need the money that they'll bring to the table it's okay don't take the money that they earn don't take the money i hope you your family never has to take a single penny from the women and you guys are absolutely capable may your businesses grow flourish and keep expanding by fabulous amount every year but it is still very important for the women to start working and do something productive with their time and get a simple small or whatever source of income that they can manage why is it so important let me ask you a simple question today what is your identity if i for 2 minutes just tell you explain to me what do you do without taking the crutch of your work you can't talk about your business you can't talk about what kind of work that you do you can't talk about your job how will you even identify yourself and now if i tell you the only way that you can be productive or you can do a good job for your family or be meaningful for your family is when you either take care of the house take care of the children take care of the kitchen or take care of the needs of a couple what are we doing why are we degrading the women of our families to such an extent where we have to give them permission to work when we are looking for women to get married to we want them to be well educated we want them to be certificate oriented uh, women over achievers what are you going to do with such women if you are not even going to allow them to work let's talk about this from a larger perspective everybody wants india to become a super power everybody wants india to be one of the best countries in the world how are we going to reach that stage if women don't even contribute to the economy depending on the statistics that you will find online approximately about 15 to 17% of the women in this country are working do you know how bad that number is compared to other developed countries we are less than half the average contribution to women in the economy in other countries is about 40% and again you are going to tell me you know what manish just by me allowing my wife to work i'm not going to add a big dent to the economy of the country yes you are not but imagine this even if one family even if you change your perspective by watching this video my job will be done it's not about you changing the way you think it's about you supporting your wife you supporting the women of your house you taking the first step you have no idea when you take that first step everybody else in your forthcoming generations will take you as an example your cousins will take you as an example you will become a hero in your family and don't even do that for your selfish reason do it because it is needed it is important let me give you one more angle today lifestyle 
diseases and lifestyle health situations are at its all time peak PCOS and PCOD is so common in women earlier it used to be 1 out of 10 women today it's sorry 1 out of 100 women today it's in about 1 out of 10 women and one of the biggest reasons for PCOS and PCOD to occur is lack of enough uh, physical movement in the lady's body we are literally taking women and putting them into a cage which is a beautiful home that we own why are we doing this i'm sorry if my language has been curt it has been it has poked you in an, in some manner or it has seemed disrespectful believe me i could have made this a lot more disrespectful if i wanted if this in itself in these 5 minutes you 6 minutes you felt disrespected you really need to introspect and realize whatever i have told you is absolute truth and you need to do something about it as i said even if one family changes the way they think and they allow i hate the word allow who are we to allow women to work give them the bandwidth to do what they feel like doing let them go and work in an ngo let them go and just support a startup let them do whatever they want let them just feel productive whatever money they earn anyway you don't need it right just let them be busy the way they would like okay just think about this women you guys are amazing i don't even need to talk to you because you guys are already doing everything in your capacity to make your life happen the way it is supposed to but i have a very big request from you please share this video with that cousin of yours who's gotten married into a family where she is not allowed to work share this with a classmate who's not working after getting married or just share it with your own parents and your brother if you come from a family who claims to be modern but women in your family are not allowed to work Thank you so much for giving me your time. I'm Manisha Ahuja, India's first money mindset and financial literacy coach and founder of Paycheck to Profit. Paycheck to Profit is a community for millennials and Gen Zs to build a new relationship with money, learn law of attraction to manifest more wealth into their life, and eliminate a concept called as money blocks. There's a reason I'm introducing myself in the end at this video because I did not want this video to become a marketing tool for me. But if you enjoy, if you found some value from this video till this moment please like this video consider subscribing to the channel because there are many more videos that are about to come over here and share this video the more people who get to see this video the more ripples this video will create and that's all what i care about thank you so much for giving me your time a very happy women's day to every woman watching this video sending a lot of positive vibes and energy to everybody i'll see you in the next video until then please take care keep going keep growing